You know who else is ready for game day? That would be our very own Jamie Weiss live from CPKC Stadium this morning. Jamie, what should fans know when they're going to go out and attend today's big game? Hey, good morning, Matt. I can't believe it is finally match day. And just to be here inside CPKC Stadium, you just feel the energy and the excitement. So, OK, coming to the stadium, there's been a lot of talk about parking over the last month or so. And here's what you need to know. We're going to see a lot different traffic flow in about an hour at 8 o'clock. We're going to see some road closures. I've got a map here to show you. Here's what you need to know. About four hours before the match, so 8 a.m. this morning, the Grand Boulevard Bridge, that's what takes you from the River Market down to Riverfront Drive by Barquet, by Core. That is going to be closed to all uh, pedestrian traffic and to vehicles. The only thing that will be allowed to drive on that bridge starting at 8 a.m. is going to be buses. Those passenger buses that are going to transport folks from those shuttle sites at 7th and Main, also a little bit farther down in downtown, makes it very easy for you to get here to the stadium. Parking, it's been a big topic of conversation the last month as well. Everyone who has already pre-purchased a parking pass to that, you know, $50 plus taxes and fees, it'll already be loaded on your phone. So when you get here, you'll just scan it, go in, park in the lot, first come, first serve. If you're using rideshare, that's super popular these days too. There are designated markers for people to get here. So they're trying to make it an easy game day experience. I'm watching out of the corner of my eye. We are sitting here on the concourse and I can see buses starting to pull up, get ready to start the shuttles. Those shuttles start in about an hour. So we're going to be here all morning long getting you ready and stay with us in our next half hour Matt I'm gonna talk about what you might need to bring with you to get into the stadium and what you should just leave at home we'll send it back to you Jamie the atmosphere should be a pretty electric once we get closer to kickoff Honestly, you took the words out of my mouth now. Electric is the perfect way to describe the atmosphere here of just the crews getting ready for match day. We wanted to start with this gorgeous sunrise because, you know, teal is rising here for the KC Current. Now that I showed you the sunrise, let's talk about what happens when you actually get here to the stadium. Crews right now are getting set up for everyone to walk in these gates starting at 10 a.m. Now let's talk about what you need to bring with you when you actually come to the game. You are encouraged, like every other sports stadium, you need a clear bag, something like this that is no larger than 5 by 8 if it is a larger bag, it is subject to being checked. Another thing I want to point out, which is brand new to the Metro, brand new for CBKC Stadium. You notice those teal pylons there in the distance? That is going to be what you use to actually get into the stadium. Instead of metal detectors, those use AI technology to help you get in. They just let you walk right in. It scans, hey, that's a phone. Hey, that is, you know, you've got some metal in your body. Or hey, like that is something that's not allowed. That's a weapon. They've trained the technology. They know how to use it. They tested it out last weekend when season ticket members got their chance to come see their seats at the stadium. So they're ready. Folks here just are excited to finally see all of the season ticket holders, see all of the fans make their way out here for that game day match. And we're going to be here all morning long, just helping you build the hype, helping you build the excitement for this home opener here at CPKC Stadium. Reporting live, I'm Jamie Weiss. I'll send it back to you, Matt. My very own Jamie Weiss. She is live out at CPKC Stadium this morning. Jamie, what should fans need to know if they're planning on heading out to today's game? Hey, good morning, Matt. So here's what you need to know. We are standing outside the plaza at CPKC Stadium where I'm stepping out of the way because they are loading up these shuttles to send them out right now. It is officially after eight gates are officially open. The parking gates, not the gates to get into the stadium. We still have to wait two more hours for that. But we have already seen in the last couple of minutes those buses, those shuttles start to head out to go pick up the thousands of fans that are going to make their way here to CPKC Stadium. And here's what you need to know. So these parking lots are officially open. You need to have your parking pass already loaded on your phone in order to get in. Also, now that it's 8 o'clock, now that it's officially four hours before match time, there are some road closures we need to let you know about. That bridge, that Grand Avenue bridge, is going to take you from the River Market all the way to uh, the Berkeley Riverfront Parkway that's by Barquet, by Core. That is officially closing as of now. It's only going to be open to those shuttles we just showed you a couple minutes ago. And the only way to get here is going to be taking I-29, I-35. So just something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind, maybe you don't have any teal with you today. This is all I've got. I, I need to find more teal. Good news is the uh, store here at CPKC Stadium opens in about an hour. So plenty of do, plenty to do, plenty of excitement out here. And hey, we're going to be here all morning long just to get you hyped and excited for this first historic game here at CPKC Stadium. Matt, I'm going to send it back to you. Live the new CPKC Stadium. Jamie, I'm sure the atmosphere there is already feeling electric, only to get more electric once we get closer to kickoff.
Oh my gosh, Matt, you were so right. There is just so much happiness, so much excitement, and fans are already here. They got here bright and early. I'm joined here by Alicia Hefter and her family. Alicia, you were probably one of the first fans to make it out here. What time did you get out here, and what was the game plan this morning? We got here just before 8 o'clock because the parking was going to open at 8, and we wanted to make sure that we were one of the first ones here, get good spot to sit, and um, their festivities are starting at 9, so we just wanted to make sure we were here on time, ready to celebrate. It's history in the making for women all over the world, um, women's sports, and our niece plays soccer competitively, just started her first season, her last season in high school, first game was last night, so we're just making it a soccer weekend, and we're just really excited. And you were telling me, you've been season ticket members, you've been involved with Casey Current since they came to town a couple years ago. What is it like to be here today to see all of this, to know in a couple of hours you're walking in, going to your seats? It's really exciting to see where they came from, you know, starting in that first stadium where there, you know, it was just diehard soccer fans that we were trying to get everything off the ground and 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 running here to at Children's Mercy Park to now here at their own stadium and just how much leaps and bounds have happened here for women's sports, for women's soccer, for this team. You know, the, the women that play for this team have just so much heart. They have, they love their fans, and it's definitely something that we see every game, uh, win or lose. And so we're going to take home a win today, and it's just going to be an awesome game. Okay, I love that attitude. I want to quickly mention, uh, Katie, you were talking about that walking tailgate. You go from the River Market, the North Kansas Town uh, Bridge. That's going to be your walking path to get here. we got to send it back. Can I get a quick Casey baby? One, two, three. Casey baby! All right, I'll send it back to you, Matt. All right, Jamie, I think we're going to hear that a lot today and certainly in the coming days and weeks all season long. Thank